right here we've got another banner to put up from one of our sponsors and here's what it looks like so now we're going to go through the process uh, f what I hope to be fairly quickly now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to upload that graphic to the media manager go in here to stories okay so we'll go over here to our headers folder and we'll upload the graphic that was created for us upload find that graphic where is it here we go okay so next step is to go to our article manager create a new article and this is going to be a header so we'll categorize it as headers so we got the category there and the section there and what is this called protection UL first thing we do is attach the graphic Take our headers folder. It's a JPEG. Okay, you'll notice we got a little uh, yellow triangle that says this is, this is not a great name because it it's got some blank spaces in there. So what I could do is I could go rename it, but for for now I think it's going to work. And there is the banner in our article. I'm going to select a read more button. And now in the body of my article, I want to put some information and um, but I don't have a flyer what I do have is this microsite for the uh, the information about this particular product so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a screen capture tool and this is called snap Z Pro there's a bunch of them and uh, this is the one that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna highlight a selection and I'm just gonna pick this graphic up here and let's see. Highlight that. Name it. save that now I'm going to go back over here I'm going to open up a new browser window I can have two of these open at the same time and I'm gonna go to my media manager I'm gonna go to my stories and I'm going to stick this in my promotions folder where I'm trying to put some other uh, stuff related to some of these flyers and keep it separate from the header specific graphics and I'm going to upload that if I can find my there it is open upload okay so there is my graphic now I'm going to go ahead and apply those changes. Some for some reason my read more disappeared, so now I'm going to go down here and put some text. And I'm going to add my graphic. very nice turn that into a header and now I'm going to take that graphic 
add a hyperlink to it. I'm going to come over here and grab my link. We want to open this in a new window. Insert that. And at the bottom, I think I want to add that disclaimer that was actually on the site. to stay compliant and we'll add that down here very good now when we get when we click on that header link I don't want to show the read more text because that's going to be redundant so I'm going to override the global settings and hide the intro text apply that change come back out to our site and refresh and there we are click on that and we have our graphic I would like to get rid of the page title there as well so let me come over here and go down to show title and override that If I refresh my screen that should disappear and now we have our graphic and our text and I can click that and I'm brought to the new website so let's double check that Click here and click our graphic. It's opening in the same window and I don't like that so I want to go back here double check my link figure out why open I set the wrong one open in new window update apply now we get to a new window perfect and we're done